Today's project is to repaint, recoat a smoker grill combination. We're doing that project off site, but I wanted to touch on a couple of things. When we did the project, we followed the instructions in the Stowbright user guide to prepare the surface to apply the paint appropriately and to do the cure process. One thing I wanted to note is in the preparation of the surface, we used the Stowbright paint prep as a product, and we also used acetone. And when comparing the results of using acetone versus the Stowbright paint prep, we found the Stowbright paint prep actually worked better. And in working with some folks on this project, they commented on the pleasant scent for the product as well. We used the Stowbright high temp copper color, 6320 copper color, and the Stowbright 1990 satin black to complete our project. We gathered our materials in preparation for the project. We have things to use to prep the surface, including sandpaper, wire brush, a coarse plastic pad. We also have the uh, white rags we're going to use to wipe off. We also have the Stowbright paint prep so that we can prepare the surface and have it nice and clean, ready for the paint. As we move forward with the project, we're going to have some drop cloths to tape off some areas and we're going, that we don't want to get paint on, and then we're going to actually paint with the Stowbright high temperature copper color. So we've spent some time cleaning off the grease and you can see there's some areas here where the grease is uh, eaten away on the finish, the previous finish. And we were a little aggressive going after that because we don't want any grease left on the surface when we do the paint preparation. We're now going to do a step where we will sand with a rough sand, making sure we get rid of any of the rust spots that we have on the unit. There's a couple of places where there is some rust, not a lot. And then once we remove the rust, then we'll go back over that with a little bit finer grit sandpaper to smooth the surface out because we're going to put a very thin coat of paint on here. So the idea here is that we're going to go ahead and get this prepped up and it'll take us a little bit of time, but we're going to sand the entire unit uh, more about the way the project's going to proceed here as we go along. So we've used the paint prep and this clean white rag, which you can now see is fairly dirty because it's picked up the debris from sanding and cleaning. We'll be going over the surface again with a little bit of fine grit sandpaper. We'll then once again wipe it down with the paint prep to get the debris off of there. It's very important that you wipe down the surface and uh, we, we encourage you to use an acetone or a paint prep product to uh, do that removal with a clean white cloth. We've now wiped down the entire surface with our Stove Bright paint prep. It has lifted off the debris from the sanding as well as cleaned the surface thoroughly and we're now prepared to paint the unit. The wipe down process, we did take two opportunities to wipe down uh, just to make sure we got all of that loose debris off and it, and it did get some pretty dirty rags. We went through about four or five rags here to do this entire unit. This is a view of the mist coat. It's the first coat that we put on the surface of the unit. What we wanted to do here is just get enough paint to start and stick and then we'll have a flow coat that will flow out with this and give a really nice finish as our second coat. We've done three light coats and it's looking very nice. The reason the uh, lids are open is we've painted the rim, the edges. We're going to let that dry thoroughly before we close the lids again and then start looking at whether we need to do one final touch-up coat to even things out. We've completed the paint on the barbecue. This is a combination gas grill and charcoal barbecue. The left-hand side being gas, the right-hand side being charcoal. We're getting ready to do the initial firing process where we'll start a small burn in both sides. We'll let that burn about five or ten minutes to warm up the metal and the paint together. Then we'll add fuel and turn up the burners on the grill side to be able to get the temperature up to about a medium to medium hot temperature. Something you would normally cook at. And on the barbecue side we'll add more charcoal and get that fired up and keep that going. We're going to keep both of those medium size, medium high size fires burns going for about 45 minutes. 
Then we'll add more fuel and turn up the burners, get the unit as hot as we possibly can with the fuel we have available, and that will set the paint at its highest temperature and allow us to use the barbecue unit in the future without a problem. One of the things we have prepared for is we do have a small fan. We're going to blow some air out of the room. This is in a sunroom. We're going to blow the air out of the room as the uh, paint starts to set because there will be a little bit of an odor coming off of the paint as it changes. So this is the completed project. After we've done the initial burn, the paint is now set and it'll be set in this color. And when the uh, unit is used to cook food, it'll look great for years to come.